Appalachian Wireless now has new forward pay pricing, where you can pay up front and get the data and features you desire. Five gigabytes of data, just $39.99. Unlimited, just $79.99. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. The investigation continues today into last night's standoff, which turned into a shootout with police in Johnson County. I'm currently on scene in the Oil Springs community where that took place last night. So we're getting our first daytime views of what actually took place. I've spoken with Kentucky State Police and Sheriff Dwayne Price in Johnson County about last night's event. It all began Monday night before 8 p.m. when someone called 911 reporting a man acting strangely. Johnson County Deputy Danny Martin arrived to find Stephen Dalton in his front yard. When, when our unit got up here, he, he talked to him. Actually, our deputy has known this guy since he was 10 years old. And he tried compromising with him, and the individual just wouldn't cooperate, so he deployed a taser. Dalton was somehow able to remove one of the taser probes and retreated into his home on Route 825 in the Oil Springs community, where a standoff began with Johnson County deputies and Kentucky State Troopers. And it, periodically the guy would fire off a couple of rounds. We tried using the PA uh, numerous times, never, never could get him to comply. His father gave me his cell number. He, he apparently turned it off because I tried repeatedly to get him to, uh, to answer his uh, cell phone. But we, we never established any kind of communication. EKB News Director Ralph Davis was at the scene for the duration of the event, hearing those sporadic gunshots that Sheriff Price mentioned. In fact, I've got, uh, you might have just heard some uh, shots being fired behind me right now. Around midnight, things took a dramatic turn. And somebody said, oh, you know, he, he's out on the porch, he's coming out, he's got a gun, they instructed him to put it down, and he actually started firing at us. We found out after the shooting was over, he actually hit two of the cruisers, several bullet holes. After a period of silence, the Kentucky State Police Special Response Team deployed a robot inside the home and found Dalton deceased inside. His body was sent to the state medical examiner's office in Frankfurt for an autopsy. The investigation is continuing and is under the direction of the Kentucky State Police. In Oil Springs, I'm Shannon Deskins, EKB News.